بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته today we are going to talk about uh, analog to digital conversion and digital to analog converter <coughs> lecture 5 <coughs> we'll talk about analog to digital and digital to analog converter actually as we have seen before that the data acquisition uh, has a, a, a like a, a journey starting from the sensors the sensors is taking the sensed uh, uh, signal and make signal conditioning and then we make the analog to digital conversion we we'll move to the, the digital data to computer and we can uh, deliver the data again to the real the, the world using digital to analog conversion actually in the uh, real world there is no only uh, analog there is no only digital there is a mix between analog and digital sometimes you will need analog to digital conversion and sometimes you will not need the analog to digital conversion there are two main uh, circuits here uh, you, to, you have to understand before moving on the first one is multiplexer or max the multiplexer is uh, select is one of many analog uh, digital or digital data sources and outputs that source into a single channel so for example suppose we have we have the multiplexer here that we have multiple input and the single output uh, uh, sorry we have a single input and then uh, it output it on one of the channels this is the multiplexer this is the multiplexer so this is the single in uh, uh the single n this is the mult yeah okay <clears throat> it, it writes the multiplexer here but actually there is two circuits here there are two circuits here the multiplexer and the multiplexer the multiplexer is simply we have multiple input and the single output we select which channel is going to be on that line the multiplexer is, is the opposite operation we have single input and then according to the input we we move to which one of the output this is simple the multiplexer the multiplexer and the multiplexer so we have if we have multiple channels here that one is going to be multiplexer this is the multiplexer we have multiple channels and then we select on one channel to be the output of uh, the multiplexer so, for example, according to the uh, the selection, there is some kind of selection uh, control lines. Uh, for example, uh, according to that the selection lines, we output channel zero to the output, or channel one to the output, or channel two to the output, or channel three to the output. This is the simple operation of the multiplexer. So what is the analog to digital conversion? The real world is analog, but computers are digital. So we need the analog to digital converters to convert analog information to digital information. Analog signals contain an infinite amount of data. Analog to digital conversion samples the data and splits it into finite information. This means if we have like wave here, this is an analog, we make it like digital as you have seen before the represented by zeros and ones for example in this figure if you see this figure is just uh, an analog uh, an analog wave and the analog wave uh, has a voltage value or the amplitude of the analog value and then we can according to the samples samples means at specific points we check the, the amplitude of the signal and then we take this amplitude and uh, enter it to our comparator and according to that comparator we can take the value or the binary value if we take three uh, the three input or three digitizer three input digitizer or three output digitizers we can see that this is starting from zero 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 this is the most negative value and one 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 is the most positive value and if you look at this part or this sample it is 110 it is represented in digital by 110 this way we can represent this uh, the, the entire signal here by 110 which is the first the three letters here or the three the three uh, numbers here then uh, also 110 again 110 another 110 
And then this is also 110, a third 110, 110, and then 110. And then the third one is, uh, the third one is the, this one is 111 and another 111. So this is the six ones and so on. According to this figure, we can output this uh, bit is true. This is the way of quantizing or the way of quantization to convert the analog signal to a digital value. So the analog to digital converts analog uh, voltage to a digital number through the process of quantization. Quantization means we have a range of values starting from 00, zero to uh, 11. This means we have eight uh, values and each value in the range of the amplitude of the signal is mapped to one of these values. This is the quantization. The digital number represents the input voltage in discrete steps with a finite resolution. So the resolution, the resolution here is, is eight. The resolution here is eight. So the definition of the resolution is the digital number represented the input voltage in discrete steps with a finite resolution. Uh, like uh, the resolution is eight bits, like that one. This is an eight bit resolution. And also, this is also eight bit. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, the digital number represents the input voltage in discrete steps. The number of bits that represent this digital number. Yeah, it is the resolution here is not eight actually. This is not eight, it is three bits. The resolution here is three bits. Uh, for example, an eight bit converter with a full scale voltage of 10 voltage will give a resolution of 10 voltage over 256, which is uh, 39 uh, microvolt. Uh, the resolution is simply can uh, be calculated for the three bit binary by dividing if we have uh, 10 voltage. So it is 10 over uh, three, uh, two to the power three, which is uh, eight. And uh, uh, 10 over eight is about a very small value or, or a bit, uh, yeah, it's very small. I mean, there is uh, a result, which is the resolution of three bit uh, converter. This is going to be uh, this is going to be bigger than the, this value because the uh, the 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 denominator is uh, is uh, here. It is bigger than two to the power. This is two to the power eight, but for the three bits, it is two to the power three. We expect the result to be bigger than this value. That this means the resolution is high. So, okay, that's it. The terminology. So some of the next terminology we have to study it, the analog continuously valued signal, it is continuous. As I told you, just to remember, the analog doesn't have values. Uh, the, the analog does have infinite values in between two values. For example, if we talk about the temperature, so, or speed, so we have the temperature of any value. So, uh, for example, 36.5, 36.52, 36 36.53, and so on. These are the temperature, it is an infinite and continuous values together. For the digital, it is discrete, means between two values, there is no value. For example, if we talk about the number of a child. So, for example, if I ask you how many childs you have, you cannot say you cannot say, for example, I have two point five childs. There is no two point five childs. Either you have two childs or three childs or four childs or zero childs and so on. The analog to digital converter, <clears throat> we can name it AD or ADC or A to D. All these are the same names can be used. It converts the analog signal to digital signal. <clears throat> The digital to analog converter is doing the opposite function of the analog to digital converter, and it is named by D slash A or DAC or D to A. All these are standard names for the analog to digital converter. In general, the output of an analog to digital converter has two to the power n 
possible values and n is the number of bits used. <clears throat> For example, the one bit device had two possible, possible output states, either zero or one. The two bits has four possible out output states, zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. Computerized data acquisition system usually use analog to digital converters with at least eight bits. So the standard resolution here, we use eight bits with uh, a possible uh, of 256 values. <clears throat> the possible states are then represented by binary number with values between 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8 times and 1, 8 times. For example, <clears throat> an output of 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, which represents the number of 128 in decimal. This means we uh, totally, we or in general, we have the bits, number of bits is very important here. Uh, if we have one bit, so we have two states. If we have two, we have four and so on. If we have three, we have two to the power three. If we have eight, we have eight. If we have eight, we have a two to the power eight possible output states. For example, if we have one bit, so we have two states, two bits, four, six, 64, eight, 256, 10, 2024, and the 12, 40, 96. <clears throat> the N determines the resolution of the output according to N, we have higher or lower resolution, the greater the number of bits, the greater the number of possible output states, and more accurately, digital output will represent the analog paying attention that we have to take sufficient value of voltage because if the voltage is very low, this is going to affect the accuracy, not the resolution, take care of it. So for example, if we have a voltage of 10, 10 voltage, so this is sufficient. But if we have one voltage, so starting from zero to, to, to one, this is the range of values of the voltage, this is not going to be accurate because if we divide the one voltage over eight, this is going to give us, no, it is not by eight, it is one over 256. So the value will be very, very small value of the voltage, which is may introduce some errors. So it's better to make the uh, voltage up to 10 and sometimes from minus 10 to 10. Uh, so it's about 20 values in between minus 10 and plus 10. And the input range, unipolar and bipolar. Unipolar convergence can only respond to analog inputs with the same sign. A bipolar converter can convert both positive and negative analog inputs. This is the difference by, by, between unipolar, which is, is specialized in some specific sign, and bipolar, which is not specialized and can convert both positive and negative signals. And the convergence speed. The time it takes when I ask the converter to when, the time when I ask the converter to convert until it starts to converge. This is conversion speed started from the conversion time to the end of conversion. And one bit analog to digital converter. If you understand this one bit analog to digital converter, you will understand the remaining types of conversion. This is a comparator. We have VN and V reference. We compare between VN and V reference. If VN is less than V reference, we output zero. And if uh, VN is greater than V reference, we output one. So we have here the voltage if we have the range from zero to one voltage. So 0 0.5 will be the uh, reference. So greater than this reference is going to be represented as one. Less than 0.5 voltage will be represented as zero. This is very simple. We take the voltage, the amplitude of the signal, or the voltage value, and then we convert it to binary number. If it is greater than threshold, we put it as one. If it is less than that threshold, it is represented at zero. <clears throat> so the increment here or the resolution is 1 over 2 to the power n, 1 which is the voltage, the voltage value over 2 to the power n. This is going to give us 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5 voltage. This is the resolution. 
What about if we talk about three bit analog to digital conversion? This is going to give uh, to uh, divide the range from zero to one voltage to eight different values. The increment is going to be one over two to the power n, one to the two to the power three, which is 0.125, uh, and then increment. This is the increment. Each step here is equal to 0.125. This is equal to 0.125. This is equal to 0.125, and so on. If we sum all of them, this is going to give us one voltage. Okay, so what about the, if we extend this to 8 bit, this is going to give us 1 over 2 to the power n, which is 1 to the 2 to the power 8. The incremental value is going to be 0 0.0039 voltage, and the, this is going to give us a very uh, small uh, value, and maybe uh, the accuracy will be affected as to the before. Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Just wait for a, a moment. So for the data range between 0 and 10 voltages with 8-bit analog to digital converter, we have 256 possible distinct, distinct value. So th this is uh, actually, uh, we need to not divide 1 by uh, over 2 to the power 8 to have another value because this is going to have uh, 10 over 2 to the power 8 and the accuracy would be higher than using 1 voltage. The representation here, if we talk about the analog to digital and digital to analog, uh, uh, for uh, from 0 to uh, 10, uh, the representation can be represented by the, this range of values. <clears throat> if we have uh, 4 bits, so, for example, uh, if we move him from uh, T1 to T2 to T3, uh, this is the time X, and this is the uh, analog va uh, value, uh, voltage, sorry, the analog uh, input voltage. This is uh, going to uh, be represented by uh, 2, which is 0, 0, 001 in binary, and this is represented by, uh, by 0, 0, 0, 001, this is uh, 8. Yes, why it is eight, should be eight. We have four here. From one to four. This is two, this is, this is four, I don't know. Maybe this is double value. So for example, here is one and this is four, zero, 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 one, two, this is six. This double value. Yes, <clears throat> this is a double. This is a double of the value. Uh, <clears throat> so this is the three. Uh, this is should be six, and this is should be eight. This way. So this is in the range of eight. This is in the range of two. Two, four, eight, two, four, six. This should be two, then this is four, this is six, this is eight. Yes, this X is not correct. This should be because you know you can you can guess it because this is what? This is four. But this is two, how come? So this should be the double, double value of two. Because the range here is from zero to, to eight. From zero to eight. So this is, should be double the value. So this is, this is four. And this is eight. And this is what? This is six. <clears throat> and this is uh, one plus four, which is five. Yeah, this this is if this is four, four four this exactly should be five. Okay. And according to this value, <clears throat> we do the opposite. 
which we can uh, have the value here. Uh, we represent the, the value here, which is a four to be the voltage. We output a voltage of four according to this uh, digital value. We'll see uh, the two circuits in this lecture. We'll see two circuits, one for analog to digital converter and another one for digital to analog converter. And we'll see how to convert these numbers to the corresponding digital or analog value. There is a quanti quantization. <clears throat> Quantization is to convert the input voltage range into Q, which is Q is two to the power n bands, to encode a continuous analog signal to discrete levels. This is the quantization. And this is, we call it the quantization step. This, what, whatever in this, uh, in this image, this is representation of the quantization step. And the quantization step can be cal calculated by delta V. Delta V is V upper minus V lower over Q. And Q is two to the power N. So it is, uh, yeah, there is a quantization error. As you see, this is the analog value and this is the digital value. The, uh, the difference between the analog and digital, we have a difference. This difference is the quantization error. The quantization error is plus or minus two multiplied by V upper minus V lower to the, in the denominator. And here we have delta V. We have delta V. All this is multiplied by 100 percentage or multiplied by 100 to get it in my 100 percentage. This is the quantization error. And this is the quantization step or the quantization interval. Here, the quantization error, this area can be the quantization error. And this is the saturation error, which is this value should be uh, should should be here, but it is not here, it is here. So we have a saturation error here. This is the top value, and this is the stair value. The resolution, the related, uh, the resolution re related to the input range, typically lowest bit determines resolution. Resolution is the smallest analog change resulting from changing one bit. This is the resolution. Uh, the voltage, the small voltages that we need to uh, change to have another level. This is the resolution. Since the output of an analog to digital converter changes in discrete steps, there is a resolution error, the uncertainty known as quantization error. The quantization error is plus or minus 0.5 least significant bit in input units. This is expressed as input resolution error is 0.5. <clears throat> V upper minus V lower over two to the power N voltage. Voltage and vo four and eight bit converter is the input resolution is open. The input resolution error is 0.5. Uh, we substitute uh, N by eight. So it is two to the power eight. We multiply, then we get the input resolution error. For 12 bit, it is going to be smaller is going to be smaller error. So this is the resolution is like, uh, if we return back, we represent it by, uh, for example, um, the, this is there, if higher resolution will be like that, I will draw it. It's gonna be like that. This is higher resolution. This is a higher resolution and the error is small. What about if the, the the resolution is very high, like uh, like like something like that? It's going to be near too near to the to the line, and this means the resolution is going to be vanished with very high resolution. The, uh, sorry, the error will, will be vanished with very high resolution.
Okay, I just wait for the for some time to pray and then we return back. This is an example. Uh, we can use the input resolution error, this equation. 0.5 V upper minus V lower. Uh, RU means reference upper and reference lower uh, over two to the power N. And then we use this e equation for this example. <clears throat> this example has a 12 bit analog to digital converter has an input range of minus 10 to plus 10. This means we have 20 here, the, the range is 20. Find the resolution error of the converter for the analog input. So our objective is to find the resolution error. We can use directly, we can use this equation. Uh, the input resolution error is 0.5, uh, 10 minus, uh, minus 10, which is uh, equally 10 plus 10, which is 20 over 2 to the power 12. This is plus or minus 0.0244. So we call it the resolution error or the resolution uncertainty. This is the resolution uncertainty. So for example, if we have the voltage is not 10, it is 0.1 voltage. This is going to give us 2.5 uh, percentage and this is going to affect the resolution accuracy. The conversion will be weak because the range here is very high, but the range here is not, it is not very high. It is from zero to 0.1 and the range is very weak. If we divide it by two to the power 12, we will get very small number compared to this one and the resolution uh, certainty, uncertainty, uh, the, the, the result, this, is, this is going to give smaller number than this. And we have the, uh, the uh, resolution uh, error will be increased. Okay. Now how to see an analog to digital converter if we uh, have uh, an integrator voltage like that, here we have the voltage reference and here we, the, we have the integrator, which is the capacitor. The counter will be continuing clock uh, counter. This is just a counter counter from zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. When will it stop? It will stop only if the input reference is equal to the analog input this means that we have uh, we will clear this this latch and the enable value uh, the enable circuit will be zero uh, the enable uh, line will be zero this means disable this counter and stop counting at this level we will have the value the the value of the of the input the voltage input here the value of the voltage input here uh, represented by a count, which is starting from zero to the, uh, the counter when the counter stops. Okay, th so this way we converted this analog value to digital number. This is an analog to digital convert. <clears throat> An example for a, a four bit single slope integrating analog to a digital converter has an input range of zero to 10, compute the digital output of an analog input of 6.115. So the step here is what? We should have, we should count the, the step of uh, the, the V reference here is, the V reference here will be what? Will be uh, the, the, the V reference means the steps, the step that we are going to, or the quantization step. This is the quantization step. The uh, voltage range, which is 10, 10 minus zero is 10, over the two to the power four, because we have four, four bit single slope integrating analog to digital converter, we get 0 0.625. This is the step. Every time, every time the counter is increased, this value is increased or doubled. For example, uh, the counter count is one, so the value is 0.625. The counter counters two, 
and this is going to be two steps. So it is 1.250, until we have 10, 10 is going to give us, uh, if we multiply 10 by 6.25, this is going to give us 6.250. And this is greater than the uh, analog uh, reference or the value that we want to convert, which is 6.115, the counter will stop at 10. So this value will be 10. This value is represented as 10 in digital. This is the analog uh, voltage value and the corresponding digital value will be 10. I have a different approach to this. Uh, I have different approach uh, to this problem. It's very straightforward. You can make it very straightforward. Uh, for example, uh, we can use the uh, the 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 this val this range. We can divide it by the. Uh, we have here uh, six point one one five. We can divide it by what? We divide ten over ten. I mean, we divide this range over the ten. This is going to give a step of what? A step of, uh, okay, let me write, it's better than saying. If I co if we have 10 levels in voltage, so we can divide 6.115 over 10. This is going to give it, to give 0.615. Mm. Or okay, let us return back. This is not true actually. Uh, the other, uh, the other way, I'm thinking about how to calculate it right now. Okay, we stop here. We stop. We don't continue all of these steps. We have the reference voltage here, so we can divide six, <clears throat> one, one five, over this small value which is 0.625. And we have the, if you know about the ceiling value, the ceiling value or the, we call it integer value, integer. So this is going to give us <clears throat> the ceiling of 9.7. Eight four, which is equal to what is equal to ten. This is very fast way of calculating the the, the corresponding digital value. I know the, the quantization step. I calculate the quantization step, then divide the input over the quantization step. This is going to give us the corresponding digital value or the counter, the value that the counter will stop at. This is very straightforward way of doing so. This is another way. Okay, so we can also have another way using this equation. This equation is also can be used, can be used, this one. And just, this is the, the ceiling. This is like ceiling integer is the ceiling okay uh, vi minus v reference over which is 10 sorry v input which is 6.115 minus v reference low v reference low is 0 from zero to 10, the reference low is zero. And V uh, reference up minus V reference low, which is 10 minus zero, which is 10, 10 minus zero. Sorry. Ten minus zero. 
multiplied by 2 to the power n. And n here is 4. And all of this is integer or ceiling of that value. Okay, let us calculate this value. 6.115. That one, what, what, which I was trying, uh, but I didn't uh, know the, I, I didn't complete it. Now I can complete it, multiplied by two to the power four, which is 16. You multiply what? You multiply 0.6. One, one, five, multiplied by 16. If you calculate this one, uh, all of this is ceiling. Yeah, it is about 0 0.6 of 16. It is going to give us nine, exactly 9.784. And this is 10. So we solve the same problem using three different ways now. So this equation is straightforward. Actually, we will not use all of these equations. Only this equation will be used. Don't worry, don't worry about all of these equations. We will not use them in this course. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, this is the calculation of uh, the, the way that we calculated the way we calculated the the, the previous in the previous slide uh, six point one one five minus zero over ten minus zero multiplied by two to the power four equal integer of nine point seven eight equal ten. <coughs> The digital to analog converter, converter is fundamentally converts its finite precision numbers, usually fixed point binary numbers, into physical quantity, usually an electrical voltage. Normally, the output voltage is linear function of input number. These numbers are updated at uniform sampling intervals. We call it the sampling interval or sampling uh, uh, sa the, the, sampling step and can be thought of a numbers obtained from sampling process. The output is a sequence of piecewise constant values of rectangular pulses. This is the rectangular pulses. This is the conversion from uh, a sample to signal. And this is the corresponding digital output. Means that there is an inherent effect of zero order hold on the effect of frequency response of that resulting in a mild roll-off of gain at the higher frequencies. And here, we represent again the same values to see how the conversion is done from analog to digital and from digital to analog. And we have seen, we have seen this slide before. And this is very interesting circuit. We have seen how to count, and the counter is, is still counting until we get to the voltage reference uh, to convert between uh, to convert the analog to digital, but how to do the opposite? We have a digital input and we we want to convert it to voltage value. How to do that? This circuit is doing that. This circuit is just a uh, comparator here uh, between two values. And uh, if you see, we have the switches here either is connected to high or low. For example, it is connecting to low here. And this is connecting to uh, this is connecting to low, and this is connecting to a high value. Uh, if you see this switch is selecting between the high and low. For example, I can represent this as zero one one zero zero one one zero. Uh, these ones ones will get the uh, uh, the current passing by the uh, the corresponding resistance. In addition to the uh, the corresponding resistance here. And the, 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 value, the voltage value will be different uh, according to which switch, switch is uh, switched on or off. The value will be bigger for more switches to be switched on and lower uh, according to the, uh, the number of, that, of the switches that are on or off. 
this is the idea. I just want you to understand the idea behind behind convert conversion uh, conversion from uh, uh, digital to analog. We have digital switches here uh, corresponding to the digital number. For example, the number six zero one one zero zero one one zero uh here because you know the v reference is negative so the, uh, the 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 current will be passing from the uh, here uh from v out to uh, uh to here and uh, the voltage will be higher because we have two r here and two r here uh, and the uh, vo voltage output this one is going to be greater and greater according to which switch is on or off. This is just a, a voltage divider. And this is a summing junction to, uh, to, uh, to uh, collect which voltage that is going to be calculated with us. And this is a data acquisition system generally uh, is an uh, interface and the interface uh, is interfaced with sensors. The sensors convert, uh, make signal conditioning and then the multiplexer will select which uh, terminal will be passed to an analog to digital converter and the analog to digital converter is passing to the computer the, analog, the digital computer is uh, the digital the digital the digital sorry the digital signal is is, is going to be passed to the computer but if the computer want to send it to the wallet again it must convert it to analog again so we need two circuits here the analog to digital converter and the digital to analog converters and this is the complete system that we are going to deal with in this course. Uh, here also, uh, uh, if we talk about the interface with the, the uh, display, we have the CPU transfers to RAM. The CPU transfers data from the uh, for, uh, for that transfers to RAM, and the CPU retrieves data from RAM from RAM and transfer it to the display. And that's all for this uh, lecture. And thank you, uh, thank you. And I, I'm looking forward to meet you in next uh, lecture, inshallah. Uh, goodbye.